back to my channel guys, today I'll be recreating my first ever Instagram post. So I started doing makeup in around 2018 when I was about 18 on my gap year and I started my Instagram in 2019 I believe, right before I went to uni. And my first look I ever did was this look and it was apparently meant to be inspired by IT, as in the Stephen King novel movie TV show. It's not overly inspired by IT, I can see what I was going for, but I want to do something more with it, make it more IT inspired but also more what I would do now with my makeup. I also have eyebrows in this picture and it's very strange to me. I think I want to start with the front of my eyes and making the red. I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow here from my Bright Matte palette. This mirror is a mess but I'm gonna have to use it today because I'm in a room without a mirror and I'm standing. <laughs> there is road works going on on my side of the house and it is so loud I can't do anything. I'm just gonna pack this on the front of my eye kind of in the same shape I did in the original picture. I'm gonna take it a little bit higher so it's going over my eyebrow though. I think what I was going for with this was more inspired by the book because in the book every time Pennywise shows up as a clown they're always described as looking different like there's not a specific look that Pennywise has as a clown so I'm pretty sure that is what I was going for kind of like a clown look inspired by the colors of the new It movie I honestly can't remember it was such a long time ago now and it feels like even longer because of the pandemic I'm gonna do my under eye with this as well this is probably gonna be covered up by the tears later but I'm gonna do it anyway just in case it peeks through the tears and I'm gonna put it on my waterline as well I just thought I have some red contacts. I think that would look really cool with this look. I'm gonna put some red contact lenses in. My red contact, these are just from Unisco or Unisco. I don't actually know how to pronounce the name of that company. And I'm not gonna use a mirror because I always find I put contacts in better when I don't have a mirror and if they're a little bit dry when I do it. I did go wash my hands in the gap, by the way. That's one in. And the other one, I don't have to be as careful with the other one because I haven't got any makeup on that side, which honestly is much easier. I would say if you're doing makeup with contact lenses and you can see through them. Do them before you start your makeup because it means you definitely won't smudge your makeup later on. I think that was definitely a good idea. I think they look really cool. Brings in more of the monster thing as well. It would be better if I had like yellow or orange contact lenses but sadly I don't right now because Pennywise's eyes are like a yellowy orange colour or they're a bright blue colour. Red goes with this look so we're gonna go with red. It doesn't really have to be it inspired really. Just has to be inspired by the original picture. Also I don't know whether you should put shadows in your eyes. I just do it anyway. I've never had problems with it but don't do as I do. Unless they are eye safe. I don't know if these are eye safe. I've never actually looked it up. I'm now going to go in with my black shadow and do the outer edge of my eye. I might make it a little bit more pointy than the original just because I think that's going to go with the tears a little bit better. And I'm not going to worry about the fallout because obviously the tears are going to go over that bit. So it doesn't really matter. I'm going to follow like where I would usually put eyeliner to make the point. To make it go with my eye shape a bit better. When I was first doing my makeup I used to drag my eyes down by mistake a lot by putting the point in the wrong place. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and lifted for this look. And then just take it a little bit underneath where the two colors join on the corner. Can I get the shadow off? If I use a powder brush maybe, sweep it inwards just to stop it falling. It looks bad, but again, I'm gonna put tears there so it won't matter in a minute. And then I'm gonna repeat everything on my other eye. It's funny that I started on Instagram. I don't really like Instagram anymore. I just don't really use it. I think most of the people I originally followed have all moved on to TikTok. And I kind of followed them across, so it doesn't really matter if I don't go and look at their pictures on Instagram. Because I do see the looks. This side is not going as well. But there's less fallout, so you win some, you lose some. Also, this palette is quite heavy to use as a mirror. I've never used it as a mirror before. Now for the tears. When I originally did the tears on this look, I actually used liquid latex, which is a terrible idea because I ripped out a lot of my bottom eyelashes. So I would definitely not recommend doing that. I'm going to use actual glitter glue today, but I'm first going to outline them just in a black liner because it just makes the glitter stand out a little bit more. And I'm even going to put it under the red just to get the shape lined out for me. Start on the corner of my eye. And I just draw the lines down first. Do that one towards my mouth a bit just to get that like penny eye smile thing going. Okay. They don't look like tears yet, but they will. You just like flatten up the ends, make them into little drop shapes, and then I thicken up the top to meet them. I just think it makes it look a little bit better than kind of just drawing them down. They look a little bit more cartoony and a little bit more clowny, I guess. Like the collars that the clowns were. And there was absolutely no point doing the bottom of my eyes, but oh well. Okay, now that they're on and I'm happy with them, I'm gonna get my glitter glue. I just use this one. It's a NYX glitter primer. And then I take like a little pointy rough brush find that it sticks better if you use a rougher brush and just dab across all of the lines that I've made already and you can see it actually changes the colour whereas if I do this on my skin it's not obvious enough to tell me exactly where I've placed it already because it's kind of my skin tone it just helps all the tears look a little bit more neutral 
cute. And then I tend to turn my hand upside down to get the bottom bits. I just find that it makes it a little bit easier. And now the fun part, the glitter. I'm gonna start with the red. I'm gonna use a little like flat eyebrow brush. And I usually just do it with both hands, but again, I'm gonna have to hold my mirror. So I'm just gonna put it there. And I just dip a little bit in. I hope you can actually see the part. I'm not quite sure. And then I just tap it where it needs to go. And because the glitter's already there, it should stick. And this is just craft. Glitter. I do have makeup glitter but I don't have the right colours and this is the exact same glitter I used for the original picture. I thought this would just make it make more sense in terms of a recreation and it doesn't feel great on the skin but it doesn't feel awful. I can live in it for a day but it does start getting a little bit annoying. I don't think I'd want to wear this much glitter on a night out. I used to but nowadays I don't think I could wear so much glitter without my face getting very irritated with me. I think I'm going to do this middle tier red. Just just because what's going to connect to it is black from the lip. I think this way it's going to stand out a little bit more as a tear. That is the red all done. I'm going to take another one of these brushes, just the one I use for the under shadow, and use that for my black glitter. Just because I know I'm going to have to go back in with this colour in a little bit and I don't want to get it all over the brush. If I'm then going to have to clean the brush to redo the other side, just going to make it a little bit easier. I'm going to try and blend those colours a little bit in the middle, I'm not overly worried about them looking blended. I'm now going to go in with this little like packing brush and I'm just going to go around the edges and try and pick up a little bit of the glitter. There's not much that you can do about it really and I don't mind it looking a little bit messy. A little bit of cleanup never hurts anyone. That's one side done. I really like it. I think it looks really cool. You can definitely tell it's inspired by the original picture but just more perfected I guess. And I'm going to do the other eye off camera just so I can use the main mirror in this room instead of my little mirror so I have both hands. And then I'll be back to do my lips and everything else. So the other eye is now done. You'd think because I was looking in a proper mirror and I had both hands it would be better but I prefer this side really annoying but anyway I'm now going to move on to my lips I'm going to go back in with a black eyeliner I feel like I'm using this a lot when I'm not doing eyeliner today but what I'm going to do is in the original picture I definitely extended my mouth a bit and I have absolutely no lipstick on because I couldn't do lipstick back then so I didn't do it I still can't do it now I can do a certain style of it but I can't do like proper lipstick so I'm going to extend it out to kind of meet the bottom of this tier but not really and then I'm going to outline my lip and I think I'm going to make my cupid's bow nice and pointy today just to kind of go with that unsettling vibe make it look a little bit less human okay that's the shape i'm now going to fill it in with an actual lipstick this is just one from cult candy cosmetics because when i use the eyeliner it always comes out patchy and then for my other lip i'm going to go in with this red liquid lipstick also from cult candy cosmetics and just outline it like a normal lip maybe make it a little bit bigger and i'm going to be really careful not to get it all over my piercings because they are quite new and i really don't want to get too much makeup on them okay that's not bad actually not bad for me usually i'm very bad at lipstick and then the very last thing i want to do in terms of makeup is i'm going to put red on the bottom of my nose just to give it that clown feeling and that is it for the makeup portion i'm going to go put on an outfit i don't have the exact same jacket but it's an assassin's creed jacket and my sister has a free jacket that looks very similar so i'm going to put that on and then i'll be back for my final thoughts <laughs> So ignoring the fact that this is a jacket from a cute anime about swimming, I really like this look and I think it looks really creepy. I really, really like it. I think I just like it because it's very Pennywise-like and Pennywise is one of my favourite characters of all time. I really want to get Pennywise tattoo in the back of my leg, but I can't find an artist that I really want to get it done by. So that might happen in the future, but like not quite. I really hope you enjoyed my recreation. I really hope you think it's better. If you think it's worse, I'm going to be very sad. <laughs> I think it's better. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. Comment down below what else you'd like me to do. I do anything makeup, drag, and cosplay related, so any suggestions will be very much appreciated. And subscribe as I do post three videos a week, and I'd love to see you again. But for now, bye.